Kenya virtually inaugurates hydro project at Salome Village. On June 5, 2025, Nagaland's Minister for Power and Parliamentary Affairs, KG Kenya, virtually inaugurated the one megawatt Ponglifo Small Hydroelectric Project, SHP, at Salome Village in Kapir District. This run-of-the-river hydroelectric project harnesses the natural flow of the Likamo River, a tributary of the Tizu River, and is expected to generate approximately 3.9 million units, MU, of electricity annually. The Ponglifo SHP comprises two 500 kilowatt units equipped with horizontal Francis turbines and advanced electromechanical systems tailored for the region's hilly terrain. It was jointly funded by the Union Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, the Northeastern Council, NEC, and the Nagaland State Government. During the inauguration, Minister Kenye emphasized the importance of tapping Nagaland's abundant natural resources for renewable energy development, including solar and bioenergy projects. He also invited international investors to explore the state's clean energy opportunities. Meanwhile, advisor S. Q. Sumeo Yimchunger physically inaugurated the project on site at Salome Village, acknowledging the pivotal contributions of Chief Minister Nafu Rio and Minister Kenye in realizing the project. He also assured continued government support for employment generation and infrastructure development. The Ponglifo SHP is now connected to the state grid, aiming to improve power reliability and promote economic growth in the remote eastern region of Nagaland. We have just switched off the small hydro power project on the four one megawatt at Salome Village in different district. Our additional chief secretary and finance commissioner, Mr. Setia, is here. Our Secretary Power, our engineer in chief, chief engineers, and all the subordinate colleagues from the Department of Power. We have officials from the. May I now request Engineer Kasho Chishi, Chief Engineer Transmission and Generation, to give a technical report on the project. Planning and Transformation Department. They have always been very supportive. Sometimes they have also guided us, advised us, rebuked us also sometimes, mm -hmm. which were taken in very good spirit. Mm -hmm. And because of those only, actually, we could uh, come to this. Mm -hmm. And we were very happy that we uh, completed the project. So it's just uh, kind of a lot of thanks to uh, the government. Mm -hmm. I would say to the site. And uh, now at least we did the presentation. Project SHP is a run of the river power project located at Salome Village, Kifri District, Nagaland. Initiated during the financial year 2016 and 17, the project was originally targeted for completion by 2018 and 19. It is designed to generate approximately 3.9 million units of electricity annually. The project has been completed at a total cost of Rs. 32.17 crore. This project is developed by the Department of Power, Nagaland, to enhance the state's power generation capacity using clean and renewable energy. The project utilizes the natural flow of the Likimura River, a tributary of the Tiza River, which is a perennial river in the eastern region of Nagaland. This project was funded jointly by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, MNRE, Government of India, the Northeastern Council, NEC, and the state government. It consists of two generating units of 500 kilowatts each, using horizontal Francis turbines. The power plant is supported by well-designed civil structures and advanced electromechanical systems, all tailored to the region's challenging terrain. The construction faced various difficulties due to tough geographical conditions, poor accessibility and transportation issues. The COVID-19 pandemic also had a major impact on the project's timeline and execution. Particularly, the supply of materials of key components was severely disrupted due to lockdowns, restrictions on manufacturing units, and port closures. Transportation of equipment, installation, and commissioning of machineries were hampered due to non-availability of skilled technical personnel, quarantine requirements, and adherence to COVID-related safety protocols. This 
Despite these challenges, the project has been successfully completed through the dedication of the department's engineers, contractors, and strong local community support. Connected to the state grid, the Pongle 4 SSP plays an important role in improving the power supply in the region and promoting economic development. This project represents the Government of Magdalene's effort to promote renewable energy, empower rural areas, and ensure sustainable development. The Pongle 4 SSP has been successfully completed and ready for operation. The project stands as a testimony to the determination and coordinated efforts of the implementing agency, contractors, and support teams under difficult circumstances.